Hey there everyone, it's AJ and I am here with what I hope to be the start of a new sort of monthly series where I bring you into my studio and I just talk um, face to camera about what the, what's what been going on this particular month and what I plan for the next month. So it is actually that sort of period between Christmas and New Year's where you kind of don't really know what's going on. But um, I figured I would get the ball started with this little vlog thing and do that. So this is a new studio vlog and I really do hope that you will enjoy the show. Just um, give, me, give me a moment. I've kind of made a cup of tea before I um, started and I want to at least get the first sip where it's, where it's still warm. There we go. I'm totally going to forget that though and um, it will be cold by the time I finish this vlog I think so. Yes. Um, okay, so first things first, I've welcomed you which is on my list of things to do. Yes, I've got a list. I thought I'd make a list and make it nice and easy for me to remember. So it's on there so every now and then I might glance down there and you might see it. So, um, so yeah. As I've, I've also done the first, second one as well, which is intro and mantra. Well, intro, I've done part of it. So, my mantra. Now, this year, 2020, I set off wanting to be more creative than I've ever been before. And to do that, I decided that I was going to create a mantra. And this year's mantra was think, pack, be creative 2020 and I have been able to do that I've I've been more I have been more creative than I have been in the past the the pack one is a little bit more of a challenge since we had the whole covid situation I've been at home more so I've not really had to think about packing keeping things ready to go so that I can create on the move because that hasn't been possible um, but I have certainly been more creative and this channel is a testament to that because I have been able to produce a video since since May, like more, almost every Saturday, 2pm for the last, well since, since about May, I've had, probably had one or two weeks where I've not been able to do that and you saw the showcase video on Saturday where I did a highlight reel of my favourite videos that I have done over 2020 and I hope you've seen that. If you've not seen that it will be up in the corner. The corner might be this side, it depends on how the, the video flips over. I'm not sure how this works normally when it flips over so yes. So I hope you will enjoy that when the, or, or I hope you have enjoyed that, that was my last sort of video for 2020. I've already touched on this. My main accomplishment for 2020 was um, getting consistent with AJ's Creation Station, which is this channel. And I hope you have enjoyed the videos that I have been posting. I've certainly been enjoyed making them and getting around to sort of engaging with my community and liking comments and um, talk, talking to people on, on the platform and things. I've seen a great growth in the channel which is a testament to the support that I have been getting from everyone and yeah I'm just really happy with the the sort of general progress that uh, AJ's Creation Station has made. I, it, this channel is actually relatively, it's, it's, it's about three years old but I haven't been consistent with it I've I've gone through pledges, pledges, splurges, splurges, uh, splurges of it, making videos. Just one moment, the cat's decided to come back in. I will be right back. Come on, Pandora, say hello to the people. Someone's a little camera shy, but look, here she is. Here's Pandora. You come onto the desk all the time, and then when I when I want you to, when I want you to come, she's she, she thinking, Let's just there we go, there we are. Look at that. Say hello to everyone. No, you want to go? Okay, never mind. Okay, 
So, where was I? Yeah, so my channel has become more consistent and part of that is to do with making sure that every Saturday at 2pm I release a video and that is whether it's be scheduled or I've rushed the, the video on the Saturday morning to get it up there for two o'clock. Uh, that's British time by the way because um, as you can probably tell I'm British. Um, but yeah, so that is certainly something that I am looking forward to keeping on doing in 2021. Moving on to my planned future projects of 2021. I've released three novels, as you're probably aware, the Collision of World series, which is actually, um, I've got the front covers on my sort of like display here testament to that sort of accomplishment that I made because it is an accomplishment and I'm not trying to be big headed or anything but it is something that you kind of need to celebrate um, when you do something that not everybody can do and um, so yeah it's definitely something that I wanted to to get done um, and sort of, sort of just have something there as a sort of thing that I can look at and say oh I've done that and it can be a pip it can appear on my YouTube videos as well I've just realized my hands are very pale <laughs> um, but yeah um, so what else what what's after a collision of worlds um, so the plan is after after a collision of worlds is to start releasing more novels uh, light novels and things like that um, but I learned a lot with a collision of worlds and I want to sort of like take uh, like almost put the brakes on slightly which is what I have done because I released the third novel in 2019 um, and then obviously I was going to try and release the next the next thing this year but I, I, Covid happened and it's not, uh, not not really been possible I've had to really focus on making sure uh, with the sort of things of finance and stuff like that as well you need to make sure that you you're not going to end up struggling to pay the bills. What I need to consider as well is how I'm going to go about doing that. Now I want Armageddon Androids, which is the next thing that I'm plan on releasing, to be a combination of everything that I've learned through doing a collision of worlds and to make it the, the basically the best I can possibly make it with what I've got and to do that I am going to um, employ things like my drawing skills which I've been harnessing oh, harnessing is that the right word honing honing that's the word that I'm looking for honing over the last few uh, years as well as my graphics the design and things like that and I really want to focus on because I've not really promoted a collision of worlds that much and I feel as though I can do better and so I need to learn how to sort of promote and the reason why I kind of made this channel was because I wanted to promote my art and things and my, my projects because my projects are, are my creations and things that I want to I want other people to see so that is why AJ Creation Station exists because it talks about my creations and I kept it sort of like ambiguous so that I could encompass things like writing, drawing, graphic design and video making and all, and all sorts so it's not just one thing of creating but it's still a so it's quite a broad thing um, so that is the plan for the for that and I have actually created a patreon just so that there's like certain costs involved, things like getting an editor to edit it and stuff like that. So if you would love to support me um, and you've got the means to do so, please do go head over to my Patreon and have a look at the different options there and the perks that are available. So, yeah. So that is kind of what what it is that I want to be doing and with regards to AJ Creation Station I've kind of got a bit of a plan now of how I want that to to sort of flow through 2021 so in I want to sort of grow the channel and, and get more reach basically and what I'm going to do for the first month or so is focus a bit more on fan art 
building up my skills and do, doing that because I, I love showcasing my original characters but they those sort of videos don't tend to do as well as the fan arty stuff like I released a Genshin Impact video and that got so many more views than uh, any of my sort of original art videos so I, I've got to kind of go with the algorithm as it were um, and look at things that are are trending so that is what I'm planning on doing there also I I'm going to remain consistent I'm going to do a video as a, well I'm not going to try I'm going to make sure that I do a video every Saturday at 2 p.m as I have been doing and these vlog videos won't be a part of that there will be sort of in that there'll, there'll be like an, an extra bonus video in in the week i think i want to keep the blog videos kind of separate and make sure that they are there as a as a as bonus um for for that plus it means that if i don't happen to get one done in one particular month because I'm, i've been busy with other things i can kind of uh, do that um so the re what i've done to help me with getting this sort of going as it were and really being able to make sure that i'm able to do that is i've managed to set up a more almost sort of like semi-permanent station for making videos and i can also the production quality because i've got things that can move in and out of the way so i can like get different angles and things like that as well and that is something that i really wanted to get done and I'm really so that I'm not having to set everything up in order to do videos. I've got a minimum setup. I can sometimes just click on and begin recording. So I can get like recording, say, up straight after work or something like that, because I still do work. That is the sort of future of 2021 that I wanted to discuss with you. Moving on to support. Now, as I've already highlighted, I've got Patreon, which I would love. If if you can support me, please do go and check it out. I've got some great perks on there. And it just would me really help sort of like do some of the costs involved in creating the YouTube channel and things like that because there's certain things I've needed to do in order to uh, make it easier for production as well and also um, like costs of actually making projects and things as well like editors and stuff. I'm going to release a monthly or bi-monthly newsletter. Bi-monthly bi -monthly can mean twice in one month or at one, one every a newsletter every couple of every two months so i'm going to keep it as that a bi-monthly newsletter and it's going to be like just a bit more like things on where i am in a, in a more of a written form so what i'll ask is if you can go and check it out and subscribe to that on my website aj's aj creation studios that'd be greatly appreciated it means then you'll get notifications um uh, of new new things and stuff like that in 2021 i'm also focusing on how i can use what i've learned to sort of support myself a bit more and that is why i will be opening commissions and getting commissions down to just and be and be sorted so uh, this period between Christmas and New Year's, I have been working on a commission sheet and here it is. And I think, I believe that the prices are fair uh, to my current level and also like for the time that I'll be able to put into them as well. I currently will only be able to do like maybe one, uh, like two to three commission slots at a time, just purely because I still do have a day job. So if you do want to support me or do need some art and things like that give me a message and I will get back to you and talk about what we can do. I would like to do some shout outs um, at the end of this video for various artists who I think deserve basically a shout out and how 
sort of like just generally uh, because they are they are amazing artists and they deserve deserve that recognition so the first one is Meanstin. Now Meanstin has been a great support to me. They have really sort of got a focus on, on what they want to do and their, their art is amazing. I, I will as I f hopefully flick through maybe here or here their Instagram page. They've also got a YouTube channel which they started. They've got a couple of videos on there and they're are hoping to get more videos up there especially now that clip studio paint has got the time lapse feature which is a, a game changer with regards to making videos as well because i want to focus on digital art and that means that i can obviously use those footages footages not even the right word i'm not sure but that they can use those footage we can you the footage can be used to uh like make basically also Zakura Art who has grown exponentially in the last uh, year with their videos and they have now that I think they're pushing at the point of this video they're probably pushing 10,000 subscribers which is amazing I've watched, seen them when I think they had fewer than 100 subscribers and they've, they've all of a sudden gone up to this next sort of level and they've just grown and they're doing really well so go and check out Zakura Art as well for their videos and also their Instagram and um, their website. Mention of Sonia Leong they are going to be releasing a new book hopefully next year and I've read the first one and I absolutely adore it I follow them on Patreon so go and check them out and their art they are absolutely amazing to watch and basically just that their, their art is really great and Kudura I love their art it is amazing it's part of my wall of inspiration which I have over on over my main desk and they are they're, they're just amazing and I managed to support them during this year because they couldn't get to a convention I managed to buy some of their art and put more of it up on my walls so yeah I think that is going to be it for this video. It's kind of, um, I want to get a sort of a feeling of how this is going to work. And hopefully you enjoyed me talking a little bit about what I would like to do with regards to this channel and the future and my, my other projects. And hopefully you will join me in the next sort of I don't know what to call what should I call this segment um, let's think um, I know I've got it and uh, this is like going to be proper British but let's call it tea with AJ it's still warm